I believe someday we will send humans to Mars. I'm, I'm pretty sure that humanity, you know, won't, won't give up this dream. But before that, we will have a humanoid robot. So that's why maybe having astronauts in orbit and controlling robots on, on different uh, surface locations could be also interesting. How is Justin doing? Is he ready to go to work? He's been waiting for you. This is our Solex Proving Ground, we call it. It's a simulated uh, Martian environment, and it's based for the scenario of the first humans arriving on Mars. In this scenario, we assume that astronauts on board the ISS are orbiting around Mars and commanding the robots from there. We are the crew on orbit around Mars and we send the rover down there as the first scout to see how the conditions are like, uh, whether it's safe, what the atmospheric parameters are. And uh, so we come out that rover, but uh, the difference to how rovers were commanded in the past is that this rover actually knows to navigate uh, by himself. So I don't have to tell him every uh, millimeter to move in which direction or what to do exactly, but I just give him high-level commands like check out this, uh, this uh, solar panel or uh, pick up this rock. Of course this is a dream of, of sending humans, but it's costly, it's dangerous, dull, dirty, you know, these are the, 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 the jobs uh, the robots will have uh, you know, the first application in, for sure.